Hello and welcome to the Morales channel. This is creating a Web3 Unity multiplayer playground. This project combines multiplayer and Web3. Let's break that down. Multiplayer technology allows you to share an experience with two or more players. Web3 is an evolution of technology that includes blockchain at its core. The playground is a sample project. It combines all this tech and more. Let's learn about this technology and take a deeper look at the game itself. Hi, my name's Sam. I'm a Unity Certified Developer at Morales. I have over 20 years of game dev experience and more than 10 years experience as a digital nomad. I love spending time in nature and practicing sports, as well as drawing, painting, and making music. Multiplayer and Web3. Multiplayer technology includes connection of players in various places in the world and synchronization of their data. Web3 is the combination of the internet with blockchain technology. This includes decentralization, immutability, and transparency. Let's look at multiplayer. For this project, I've chosen to use Unity's multiplayer solution. It's part of Unity Game Services. This includes Relay, Lobby, and netcode for game objects. Relay is used to connect players in various places in the world and have them playing together easily. Once connected, the lobby allows you to group players in logical units. For example, you could have players of easy skill level and players of advanced skill level. And finally, netcode for game objects, that's the moment-to-moment -moment synchronization of the player's movements, in my case, and messages sent between players. The Unity documentation is very helpful. This is a big topic, and you can jump in here and learn high-level theory, as well as the specific details of features that you want to add. You can gain a theoretical understanding of how these systems work, and there's a lot of moving parts, and it affects your game design. Thinking about where code executes, whether it's on the host or the client or the server, really defines where your code will go in the game, and ultimately what your game's able to do. There's lots of considerations, including when you're sending messages between your players, there's certain permissions that are required on each end to make that transition go smoothly. Now that we've looked at multiplayer, let's take a look at the Web3 fundamentals. Taking a step back, let's look at the generations of the web and the internet. We're currently departing Web2 and experiencing more and more blockchain-enabled Web3 technologies. Now, it's not a perfect analogy, but in games, we have a third generation as well, built on the blockchain. Using middleware technologies together, like Unity and Morales, you're able to build more compelling applications in games more quickly and take advantage of those blockchain features. And Morales, as a middleware choice, addresses all the needs of your Web3 games and dApps. As developers, you can interact with contracts and handle authentication, as well as much more. Morales is fully compatible with leading Web3 tools and services and integrates with your favorite backend. The Playground Unity Sample Game The Playground is built on multiplayer and Web3 tech, but exactly how? Using multiplayer lobbies and relay, we're going to be able to connect those players together and put them in the same room. In this demo, I'm going to show several instances running on my computer all playing together, but these could be instances running in various computers anywhere on the world and we'd be connected. Multiplayer also handles the synchronization, the position of the character, the animation frames shown in the character, any messages and sound that go between them. This is all handled by that as well. From a Web3 decentralization standpoint, players in this game actually own the items. Whether playing the game or outside of the game, using other technologies that connect, player ownership of that item carries throughout. For immutability, this game features transfers. Players can transfer gold and prizes from themselves to another player account. This is a permanent transfer, and that ownership and transfer information is public. Outside of the Unity game, a second or third app could all connect to that same ecosystem and provide more value on top of this data. Taking a look at some of the details of the game, in number one here we see players synchronized together and connected in a game session. Information about their positions and movement, as well as messages like the prompts at the top of the screen, get synced to different clients. And from a Web3 perspective, we handle the authorization. In this case, we use a QR code in a mobile wallet like 
MetaMask as the only identifier for who's in that game session. This allows for decentralized, immutable, secure transfer of those assets between different players. And again, that data being transparent could be used outside of the game in the larger ecosystem. This sample project is available for download on GitHub. The source code included in the project includes everything you need to get started, understanding how to build the project, deploy it, and play it as well. And this particular game includes generous amounts of configuration that you can do inside Unity. For example, there's a toggle to use a local disk storage mode during development. This works offline more quickly. There's no need to pick up that Web3 wallet and use it alongside your development here and there during the development process. Then toggling over to contract, we'll call the Polygon Mumbai Solidity Deployed Contracts on the back end for the full production experience. Another toggle allows you to choose between multiplayer setup modes. I included this as I was learning both of the ways that you can set up a game. With the LAN mode, you're able to connect any devices on the same local area network, or in my case, just sitting on my same computer. This doesn't require internet connectivity, which is nice from a development standpoint. There's less lag in the connection, and it's more instantaneously connected. The full option uses Unity's Relay and Unity's Lobby. This allows the exact same game with this toggle being set to be playable from anywhere around the world. In theory, I could give you a executable of the game, you'd run it on your computer, and we'd instantly be connected into the same experience. This project is built on top of a lot of existing technology and knowledge about how that technology works. While this brief video doesn't go over those details, you can take a look at this link here to learn about connecting Unity with Playfab and Morales. This covers the backend setup and deployment that's needed for this game. Follow this link to watch the Web3 Magic Treasure Chest game and how it was developed. Of particular interest there is the Solidity Smart Contract setup, deployment, testing and more. This project is built the same way as Magic Treasure Chest, so you can get a good sense for how those Solidity contracts are designed. The Playground Demo. Here we are in the Unity project. Let's start by opening up the informative README. The README provides information about what is Morales and what is the specific goals of this project, as well as everything you need to get started. One of those getting started steps is to look at the configuration, and while there's no specific configuration needed here, you can fool around with the different values and experiment. For example, toggling from contract to local storage mode, and from LAN to full multiplayer mode. You can click play to play the game here as a single player, or do a build so that you can play multiple instances of the game. I'll do a build. Here's a single instance of the game running on my desktop. I can play the game and start a multiplayer session. But at this point, I'm the only player. It'll be far more interesting if I spawn multiple builds. Here we are running the Web3 Unity Multiplayer Playground in a few different instances on my desktop. There's no hard limit on how many players I could have here, but I've only got room on the screen for four, so let's try that. I've already logged in. You can see on the logout button, it shows the address for each of the logged in Web3 accounts. I'm gonna be using the D4 account in the upper left, and notice that just for convenience and ease, I've logged in using the same second account on the other three. That's okay. In a production environment, you'd imagine each of your users would have a completely unique Web3 address. I can view the settings. The settings allows me to randomize the nickname, which is going to be seen by other players, just to help see unique values above each character's head. And I can also reset the player data. This will call the backend Solidity script to treat me like a brand new player. I'll go ahead and play the game on each of the four instances. And for each instance, you can choose to start the game or to join the game. I'm going to start with one and join with the other three so we'll all be in the same world. Notice there's no lobby selection here. It just automatically puts everyone together in one instance, which is great for development.
I'll take a moment to organize each player, moving them to a corner of the screen. There, so now my upper left player is the upper left window. You can notice as I'm moving around that the game gets synced properly. Things that we have syncing here are the player's position, of course, also the animation of the character. There's also physics that works. Notice I cannot go into the lava pit here, but I can cross the bridge, and I properly collide with other players. Also, there's data being synced across. The player's name above them and their Web3 address is visible to everyone, and that's also synced over using Unity Multiplayer. Something else I can do is I can hit the space bar to send a message to all clients. That is player one, just saying hello. Any client can do that. And then most excitingly from a Web3 feature, I can click any of the other players here and I can transfer some of my assets. So in the UI, you see I have 100 gold. Those are ERC20 tokens. And I have three out of six prizes. Those are each NFTs. I'm just expressing them as a number, but they are each individual NFTs. Let's go ahead and send 25 gold. And on my mobile wallet using MetaMask, I'm asked to sign that transaction. Only the sender needs to sign here, which is convenient in a multiplayer environment. The recipient doesn't need to be concerned in this specific game design for approving the transaction. That transaction has completed. The original transactor, the sender in the upper left, received back from Web3 confirmation that the transaction is complete and then sent a message similar to that hello from P1 type of message. It told all the other players, hey, somebody has transacted, so refresh your own UI and also show the transaction confirmation message. So you'll notice the UI for all four players has now properly updated. Now again, I mentioned for development sake only, the upper left is one account and all the other instances are the same second account. So we actually saw the UI refresh on three of them. In a typical production environment, a transaction would be from exactly one instance of the game to another one instance of the game. Let's go ahead and do a second transaction. This time I'll send one NFT prize. And you can see confirmation again that that prize has gone through. In the upper left window, we see I now have two of six gold, confirming that it is credited my transaction over to the other players. That's it. That's a complete demo of the playground. The Web Companion App Demo. Earlier, we saw how this particular game, the playground, combines technologies of multiplayer and Web3. The Web Companion app sits outside of Unity and connects to the same technology. A user of the Companion app can authenticate using the same account as they did playing the Unity game and be able to have a dashboard into some of that data. This was created specifically for this game, and you can edit and modify it and inspire other projects that you would do in the future. Here is the Web Companion app. This is created using Morales and Next.js and runs in the browser. Now imagine having the Unity game being used by most of your players, and then this second app connect to similar data, either for a staff admin of user accounts, or for a high score table for end users to see and use, or for some user-based administration for them to go in and look at their own accounts and be able to make changes. There's lots of different things. You could even have the complete game replicated in a different technology, but connected together using the blockchain. This is the simple home screen. Here in the authentication view, I've already authed in using the browser's MetaMask, and I've chose the same wallet address as Unity from a game player standpoint. This is the list view. This is the complete functionality we have here. We see one row for every user account that's ever played the game. It's just a few people involved with the development of it myself and using a few different wallets for me to connect and test. 
you can imagine that if I could edit one of these rows as the owner, being able to tweak a profile image or some other piece of user data, uh, also being able to do transfers, just like the in-game offers transfers of gold and transfers of prizes, perhaps some of that would make sense to do here. I'm just including this in as a proof of concept that does connect to the real data and shows that this platform as well could be used alongside the game. That's it. Morales for Web3. Morales is a full set of APIs that connect any tech stack to the blockchain networks, and Morales offers SDKs for many popular platforms. SDK support includes React Native, gaming SDKs like Unity, and the web as well. Morales is cross-chain, and Morales addresses the needs of Web3 games and dApps, including authentication and working with smart contracts. It's fully compatible with Web3 tools and services, and integrates with your favorite backend systems. And for gaming, Morales brings the power of Web3 to your favorite game platforms. Unity's flexible development offers amazing opportunities to create top-quality games and interactive experiences. You can bring the power of Web3 and blockchain to your Unity projects with Morales. And Morales includes complete learning resources, including full documentation and project information, workshops, YouTube videos like this one, and everything you need to get started. With inspiration, like today's favorite game, together with Morales, what will you build next? Morales offers world-class Web3 workshops. Level up your Web3 development skills by building along to unique projects. Check it out today and join our next workshop. We've seen that when creating a new game, we can be inspired by our favorites. Our favorites are determined by our motivations and our unique player type, and each of our favorite games can be improved and expanded with Web3 functionality. Using the Morales SDK and your favorite development platform or game engine, you can use that inspiration and get started on your next project today. Let me know in the comments below your answer to this question. It's your comments and feedback that help drive the types of content we create. To enjoy more content like this, like, subscribe, and click that notification bell. Check out docs.morales.io to get started today. Thanks.